Hi, I'm Hao Ren from National University of Singapore. I'm very glad to share my poster with you. The title is MTLC Learn, a highly sensitive multitask serial learning model for taxonomic assignment of human viruses. From SARS in 2003 to COVID-19, different global infectious disease emerge or re-emerge frequently in recent years. COVID-19, which is caused by SARS-CoV-2, has caused around 10 million confirmed infections. These inf infectious diseases were caused by different pathogens, and the identification of pathogens is very important. NGS-based method provide a fast and accurate way to identify these pathogens. However, there are still some challenges. For example, it is still difficult to identify divergent novel species. Besides, the ranking of candidate pathogens is also a problem. For taxonomic assignment, current taxonomic assignment tools, including alignment-based tools, camera searching tools, and some bioinformatics pipelines were limited by many factors such as the high mutation rates of genomes or the short lengths of read. This caused unassigned reads or wrongly assigned reads in their result. Deep learning methods such as CNN allows learning of local patterns from input data. So these methods have, have the potential to be applied in the identification of novel species. For the ranking problem, coverage may help to solve this problem. Coverage represents the percentage of the reference genome that covered by the aligned reads. This function can reflect the overall distribution patterns of aligned heads. For example, in this figure, 10 cameras can be aligned to both species A and species B, but the coverage on species B is higher than species A, so these cameras should be assigned to species B. Although coverage function is very important, it has not been incorporated in many tools. Therefore, we developed MTRCNN, a multitask serial learning model which can do taxonomic assignment for human viruses and can do coverage calculation for assigned hits. For the first task in the architecture, we used a modified and simplified VGGNet. Besides, we add a lot of batch normalization layers and max pooling layers to increase the robustness of our model for tolerating high mutation rates in various genomes. For the second task, we subject each reference genome into 10 regions, and then we predict the index of the region for input rates. For cameras that are longer than 50, we use a sliding window strategy, which means we split the read into overlapped 50 mers, and then we use our same model to predict on each 50 mers. Finally, we merge these results together by using a hard voting system to provide a final classification. The model was trained on the STB database and Verizon database. Overlapping 50 mers were generated based on the reference genomes and then were augmented by using Mason 2 with different mutation rates for increasing the complexity of the dataset. In total, we generate 53 million unique cameras. These cameras were split into training, validation, and testing datasets. Our model was trained for around 120 hours on Volta GPUs using an early stopping strategy. Then we did some benchmarking works on unseen simulated testing dataset. We generate 1 million unseen simulated 50 mers. And in the result, we can see that the Kappa score and F1 scores of MTLCNN outperform Kraken 2, Centrifuge, and Botai 2. Besides, 
the Kappa score of coverage prediction on unsynchronous testing dataset was very high, which was close to 0.94. We also did a benchmarking work on unseen real-world dataset, which are four RNA sequencing datasets for COVID-19. From the result, we can see that the F1 score of MTLCNN outperformed Kraken 2, Centrifuge, and Bolet 2. Besides, from the coverage report, we can see that the MTLCN identified SAS with the highest number of assigned reads with broad coverage of the reads across the genome regions. In summary, MTLCN was developed to perform taxonomy assignment for human viruses and coverage calculation for assigned reads. This model outperformed Kraken 2, Centrifuge, and Bolet 2 on key metrics using unseen simulated datasets. And this model was able to identify the closest relation, which is thus, of an unseen pathogen outside the reference dataset when tested on four RNA sequencing datasets of, of SARS-CoV-2. This is my presentation. Thanks.